What's happening guys? Thanks for clicking on the video. So today I just happen to be putting some heads back on this L77 I'm doing a heads and cam package on and uh, I figured I might show you guys what uh, what to do if you uh, pull your threads from an alloy block LS. It's really common uh, if you're putting back together your engine you got your little bolt holes for your head bolts if you don't clean those out or you have water trapped in the bottom ones which is really common you'll run your head bolts in they'll uh, basically hydraulic lock on the water and instead of them tightening down properly when they're screwing in they'll stop and then they'll rip the thread out uh, it is a bad day when that happens it, it'll turn your day to shit really quickly so i'm going to show you the tools i use is this thing comes in a set now these sets are super expensive i think this one itself was about a thousand bucks and there's not a lot to it so we've got this one's called a time cert gen 3 head bolt uh, repair set so it comes with a bunch of instructions this is kind of like a thread repair tool um, you just run it down to clean out the threads you've got um, drills and taps um, specific location um, like locators so you drill dead straight and you got your uh, helicoils so there's not a lot to it but it is a super expensive tool set uh, what I like to do any uh, heads off job just anything that has to do with pulling the heads off uh, 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 any alloy LS you can do it for iron blocks too but they're less susceptible to this being a, a stronger material um, thread repair tool you um can you focus no yes no maybe no they can't do it all right so yeah really nice tools they're marked for um ls2 and later bolts so you'll you'll run this in until that sits flush with the deck in the earlier long bolt ls1 ls6 it's this one except for your two you two outside bolts so yeah it, it's super tedious doing one after the other the whole way along um, but it is a hundred percent better than uh, than stripping a thread so what you do comes with some oil it specifically says do not use grease use oil so I think when you run out of that just I don't think it's specific oil I think um, your normal like sewing oil can can work too so yeah I'll do this one we'll see how the threads are oh, she's a little chunky um, I definitely have the right tool here somewhere for this That's it there ratcheting one uh, it's from gear wrench and the tool up here there so doing this one hand one hand is a bit of a pain but you want to sit that on there tighten her up put the ratcheting tool on uh, flick the ratchet double check she's tight and then just ratchet away It's not giving me much resistance now that I have, um, I'm able to apply a decent amount of force to it. And this one's going to be the short bolt type, so I'll run it down to it, um, it hits that cutoff. So she's a little dirty down the bottom, you can feel it. So, a couple of turns, then back it off. That'll just clean that thread. Tighten it back up. And she's touched off. She um, come level with the head, or the sorry, the deck of the block. Back it out. It's sort of self-centering because this uh, OD is is a fraction um, off the, uh, the ID of that hole. So we'll get this out of here and see what come out on the on the cleaner. Oh, 
see if I can get this bloody thing to focus. Come on, there we go. So, you can see the junk from the old head bolt that come out. It's the old uh, Loctite that was on the uh, bolt. So that can cause um, your bolt to lock up early and then either snap it or, or rip the thread out. Alrighty. Thanks for watching this video guys. Um, I hope this helps if you guys uh, um, manage to get stuck or, or have the shit luck of uh, ripping a, a thread out. Hit that like button if you liked, uh, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll catch you in the next one.